Hey, what is going on guys? Alpha Gamer 12 here and today I am back with another episode of the Road to Glory. So today we're starting out working on the SBCs. We're doing Juan Bissaka's move and then um I think it was Rodri who was the other one, so I definitely recommend you guys do these. I know this is a little bit behind, but you guys definitely should be doing all of the SPCs that you guys can. So, uh, I just put this together with all the players that I had in my club. It was really easy, didn't take very long at all. Uh, and uh, the same goes for the other one, the one with Rodri. And so, the reason I'm doing this all in voiceover is actually because I had a problem with my mic. It actually didn't record any, vol uh, any sound for, I think, like three or four episodes. So you guys are going to have put up, put up with me doing a voiceover for all of that. But anyway, doesn't change what's happening. Just really easy to put all of these players in. I mean, it's just trial and error, trial and error. Didn't like cost me anything to put those in. And so we got two packs that we can go away and open. And in the first one we get, drum roll please. Um, yeah, that's not a board. And it's not a walkout either. It's Stambouli. Yep. Great, right? Yeah, I thought so too. But like I've said before, guys, and I will say again, all players are helpful because eventually they will uh, end up going in an SPC and it'll help you. So this one, on the other hand, oh, you saw the one flash at the top left. That means it's a walkout and he's from Croatia. He's a central midfielder. He plays for Real Madrid. You guys guessed it by the title. That is Luka Modric for free from the SBCs that we did for free. I did not put a single coin into that. It was all from players I had in my club and I got Luka Modric who's worth 100,000 coins. I would say that's pretty good. I would say that's that's a pretty good deal. 100K for free, just taking five minutes of brain time. I'm very happy with that pack. On top of Modric, we also picked up a couple other players, um, including Rebic who goes for 5k, Sibayo, who, Sibayo, so however you say his name for like three or four, so yeah. Next, this is what I want to work on for this week. I want to work on getting this one to watch Numbelli for free. Just takes a bunch of squad battle games and rival games that I would want to be doing anyway. So this is just giving me extra like motivation to do what I'd basically be doing anyway and just doing it in a specific way. So first off, we're just going to fix up our team so that it fits the requirements for having one Dutch, one Belgian, and uh, one French, at least one of each of those in the team. So yeah, I'm just going to throw all of them in. Get uh, De Jong back on chemistry by using Muneer and replacing our cam and, set and striker that we had before. Doing, um, We're just changing it up so that we can take advantage of the fact that De Jong is huge and he will be winning headers all day long. So we just fixed up that, which is something I would recommend you guys do. If you guys don't fix your um, tactics for a game, please do. It makes all the difference. It, I promise. It just makes such a difference because it is so much easier for you guys to win uh, games when you have players reacting and playing the way that you guys want to. Obviously, there's a little bit of trial and error to get that in, but De Jong in, target man, header, goal. Hazard, the same thing. They score one back, which was interesting. I had no complaints about this game. This game was about as like average as possible. I scored three goals and then I stopped really trying because I had other things on my mind. Never mind, I didn't. That's the next game. Oops. Rip. Okay, whatever, it's fine. Um, so I went away and I picked up Dembele because one of the requirements is having two French players in your team. So I went into the Rivals game with two French players in my team, hoping that that would be enough for me to start getting those uh, requirements done. Um, and this is a game that I think it's good to talk about defending. So that's the first instance of you seeing as soon as the other guy does anything, my defender flies away. And it's not like I chose to push him out of the way. He just flew out of the way because that's the way that the game is here. Here is a most blatant, obvious example. I'm going to replay it right now. Look, I did not hold left. I did not tell him to sprint off to the right. He just, as soon as the guy did a ball roll, my defender just died. And then that slide tackle was pathetic. That was so bad. I just wanted to get in his way. And instead, Koscielny just ended up on the floor dead. I hate, hate, hate defending in this game with a burning passion. It is so bad. But with that being said, we did not get the result we wanted from the Rivals game. So we jumped back into a squad battles game because we need to get these done too. And straight away a header with him. Changing the instructions to having a bunch of players in the box really makes a difference for when you want to try to score headers. And I wanted to score headers because one of the requirements was to score a bunch of headers. So I just set all of the players in the box and just, yeah, that's all it was. I scored three goals. I knew I had a header. I knew I had an assist from the midfield. So I just stopped trying. 
and we go back into another rivals game and yeah uh this one was a little productive so you see it's kind of just got headers on the brain just go scored a nice goal with dembele that nice header a little bit of luck to get in there and then just i was never gonna miss that you at this point i just wanted to win so any amount of sweat was gonna be worth it for me i just I don't like it. I know how annoying it feels when you come up against someone who's doing that, but I needed to do it. I need these wins. I need to start getting better at this game. So that goal right there is a prime example of like how I like to uh, create my attacking plays, which is I have one person hold the ball up and turn while another person makes a run in behind and you just play it through. And as you guys can see, that's the fourth or fifth maybe rage kit we've had so far, which is awesome. I love having rage kits in FIFA 20 makes me feel really nice i mean in all fifas in general so uh we got a gold pack from that uh from completing a bunch of the season rewards or whatever i don't the objectives just do them guys i promise it'll be worth it still a ways away from most of these then dumbbelly rewards but it doesn't really matter because eventually we'll get them done and that's not an issue so i just took a second to think about this we need to fix up our league on thing because that's going to be difficult but we can open up this pack to end off this episode even though it is untradeable and not likely to have anything very good in it so let's take a look okay at least it's going to be rare we know that much not a walkout not a board either what is it Musaccio, he's actually not bad. He could definitely be used for SPCs or something, so he is not the worst. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please leave a like and a comment. Uh, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. It is really appreciated. And as always, guys, I will see you all next time.